What is up everybody? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you really quick just to give you a quick little tutorial on the TP-Link AX1800 Nano, which is this little guy right here. Uh, you can kind of get that in there a little bit. Just the Nano, just a USB A B uh, drive and I am using it for my little Dell Inspiron 11 3000 series. This thing is a great backup DJ laptop. I was trying to do some updates and my Wi-Fi card in the laptop just kind of crashed and will not let me log on to any internet. <clears throat> and so for under 20 bucks, this was less than 20 bucks, uh, I went and picked up this off Amazon. It's once again, the TP-Link AX1800 and i looked at all the instructions and it's they're terrible there there's no good ones uh on you know how to how to hook this up installation or anything so hopefully this is helpful this is going to be brief and easy get straight to the point if this is helpful at all please like subscribe share all those good things dj martini midwest reviews all that good stuff so if it's helpful so thank you i got this and it definitely was probably used or something because i got it on amazon and yeah all that was in there there's no instructions there's no nothing all that was in there is the usb and so i had no clue what to do but it does say on the box it says ultra fast wi-fi six speed low latency gaming i don't know about that uh easy installation uh preloaded internal drivers refined security plug it in and forget it so i was like cross my fingers that that's what i could do so yes once you plug this into your laptop, and I'm gonna show like a little side clip as well so you guys can kind of take a look at that, but once you plug it into a USB slot in your laptop, um, it's gonna turn green. Uh, that's showing that it's working. Now mine is already pre-installed, but once you plug it in, it will prompt. Uh, once it gets internet connection, it will ins it'll prompt an install. Um, it'll say, uh, you can see on the little prompt on the side that I'm going to put in the corner, uh, it'll say setting up device and you're going to want to go ahead and install that uh, driver. Once you install the driver, it'll stop. It'll say finished. You're good. Make sure if it's on Windows and it's asking you not to be trusted, go ahead and run it anyways, those types of things. And then you're going to want to go look for it in your Wi-Fi. So we go down to our settings down here you can see right here i don't know if you can see my mouse Let's see if you can see my mouse yeah you see my mouse down there all right so you go down here and you can just click Let's see if i can get that to show up yeah right down there you just click on your wi-fi right by the battery and then there's like the three bars there yeah right there go ahead and click on those bars and that's gonna bring up this little tab. And then we wanna go up to right there. And we're gonna to wanna to go click on our Wi Fi. Once you find your Wi Fi, you click on the Wi Fi. You click on the Wi Fi tab. And it's gonna, it's actually gonna give you two Wi Fi's. I don't know if I can get that to focus. There we go. There we go. It says Wi Fi 1 and Wi Fi 2. So uh, we want to go ahead and shut off Wi Fi 1. And we're going to turn on Wi-Fi 2 and click on Wi-Fi 2. And we can turn Wi-Fi 2 on. And then all you need to do is go ahead and find your internet profile. I'm not going to show you that on mine, but you just show your internet profile that you're looking for. Put in your password and you're good to go. It should connect to the internet. Mine Mine is connected right now. And like once you connect it, it, it's good to go. So every time you plug it in, you might have to go to the Wi-Fi and find that Wi-Fi 2. Uh, but once you find the Wi-Fi 2 and connect it, boom, you should. Once you put your password in once, it's going to memorize that. You could take it out and put it back in and it's still going to remember that. So just go to Wi-Fi 2 and then go ahead and click on it, make sure you put your password in for your internet. And then once it connects and says it's good to go, it'll connect every time 
and you'll have Wi-Fi back on a laptop that's having issues with the its own Wi-Fi card. So I just wanted to make a quick video on that. Hopefully it's helpful for somebody. I know that was kind of super explained, um, but there was no videos at all on the TP-Link AX1800. They also have an AU600, which I actually have too, and it worked pretty good, but it's almost the same price as the 1800. And this has the Wi-Fi 6. It says it's supposed to have, you know, ultra fast speeds, uh, 1200 megabytes per second uh, for five gig. And then for uh, 2.4 gig, it's uh, 70, uh, 570 megabytes per second for, you know, the uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz band of Wi-Fi. So uh, it's pretty good, you know, and it's going to give you that LED status right here. You can see the green light is on. That means I am good. It's connected and I'm good to go. It means that the little USB is working as well. So uh, pretty good. Cool. If the light turns off, then you're probably not on Wi-Fi and also it's not working. So very, very cool, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share if this is helpful at all. And I'll see you really soon on my next video or tutorial.